This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 16, Collision Detection, Part 8, Debugging Collision. So right off the bat, I see a bunch of code. I want to know if it does something. Ooh, we got our balloon again. Can I pop it? This is from earlier, so hopefully... Ooh, and it pops. Any other new animations? Okay, interesting. Let's see what we're doing here. Debugging Collision. The balloon is popping before the tack touches it. Oh. When the sprites aren't doing what you expect, you can use the debug block to get more information about why the sprites are behaving that way. Can you find out what's wrong with the code below? Debugging is essential to programming. Oftentimes, you'll use different code in at while creating things, like a log function, which tell, uh, which lets the program print out things just for the programmer to read. Um, there's all sorts of stuff. So let's see what we're doing. Do this. Run the code and use the arrow keys to move the tack to the, pop the balloon. Well, I already did that because I don't want to wait. In the code below, change the balloon dot debug to equals false, oh, to true. So right now, this property of our balloon variable, right, that property debug is equal to false, so it's not debugging it for us. We want to tell the computer, hey, debug that. Add a new debug block to the code and set the tack sprites debug property to true. So we're also going to debug the tack. Run the code and discuss with your partner, I guess you're my partner, hi, why the balloon is popping early. All right, so let's see. We need to first add a debug block to, no, we need, first need to change the balloon to true. Where's that? We have a whole bunch of code here, don't we? I don't see, oh, is it up at the top? That makes sense. All right, so we want this to be true for that. And make sure you're, when you create a property like debug or rotate or anything, it needs to be after you create the variable and set the animation. Otherwise the computer says, set debug true of what, nothing? You need to have it. So I'm going to grab debug and drop it here with tack. And I need to change this to tack. And then I want this to be true. And I have no idea. I wonder if it's going to come in a debug console. We're going to see. Reset. Run. Ooh. And is it interesting? So what do these numbers mean? I'm wondering if this means, hey, we drew that first. And that's the size of something. And we drew this second. Is this its area? Run the code, discuss. Can you use the animation tab to resize the balloon picture so it pops correctly? Oh, we are going to do this challenge. To resize the balloon. If I can do that, can I clip it? Oh, so we just want it. Okay. So let's go ahead and we can just use the resize tool. Right here. Oh, oh, it does it automatically. Perfect. I got it. All right. So now let's go back and hit run. And now notice our balloon fills the square. So not the tack is now much closer. And if we do the top, it actually touches the top of the balloon. Perfect. Challenge met. So I changed up that animation. And then what I added, again, is I just changed this to true and changed that debug function to true. Or the debug uh, property. Awesome. Let's keep going. 